Hey there. How y'all doing? Hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my little selfie stick. And yeah. Alright, let's try to do this. I just got a new GoPro, so we're gonna we're gonna test this sucker out. And let's begin the adventure with a lot of background noise. That's a generator, I hope. I'm sure the audio is getting destroyed by that. But hello from the eastern shore. Standing in front of a nice little motel for sale. It looks abandoned. Maybe we could go exploring, right? All right, maybe. I wonder what they want for this thing. Man, look at this. This is a height right here. I see the no trespassing sign, private property, so we won't go no further, but look at that. They probably want a nice little grip for this. I'm about to look this money up, see what they want for it, and go find me a hard money lender, I'll tell you what. So we're starving. We are on our way up to Maryland for a quick little two-daycation, me and my wife are, and we're both hangry. So we stopped at, I don't know if you can see it right back there. It's a food truck, lobster rolls. I don't even like lobster. I, I, I'm not a big fan of it. I got me some fish and chips. My wife got the lobster roll and I'm about to show you, again, forgive the noise. I'm about to show you our next flip house. It's not the hotel. Y'all ready? Now keep an open mind about this. We could probably get this thing for a steal, and who knows, we might be able to turn this sucker around. You ready? Bang. What do you think, right? Right? We could do something with this. Just need some cosmetic work. So we were looking for a cool little place to get some coffee, and uh, we found this place. It's called uh, Rise Up. It's in... Uh, someplace outside of Salisbury, Maryland. That's where we're at right now. But I got to tell you a funny little story. Check out, check out this. I got me, uh, almost got me a speeding ticket, y'all. So I was going about 100. And then I seen this SUV all darked out going the other way. And I tried to slam on the brakes, but it was already too late. I got over into the slow lane and I said, I know I'm about to get pulled over. So I get pulled over by this young Maryland state trooper. There's another one. Uh, it was two of them in total. And he said, I pulled you over for speeding. And I said, yeah, yeah, I know I was speeding. I thought I was going to jail. Definitely a reckless, but I was very nice to him. I only told him one person and he gave me a warning. This is a warning right here. I'm trying to see if he says how fast that I was going. It says ex exceeding the posted speed limit of 55 miles an hour. It doesn't say how fast I was going. I also wonder if I would have started arguing with him. Yo, I wasn't speeding for real. I wonder if I was gonna get, I, I'd have got that ticket right then and there. Probably could have even, even ended up in jail. This is the second time that I've been, nah, third time that I've been pulled over since being released from prison. Only one time did I ever get a ticket. And the other two times I got off with a warning. And it's not for any other reason than I just was you know, somewhat, somewhat respectful. I hear the siren. Shh. Shit, they're probably coming to get. All right. Anyways, we still got about, um, we still got about an hour and some change, maybe two hours to get to our destination. So yeah, we had to stop and get some coffee. Joe needed to pick me up because now I'm only driving 60. So uh, don't speed. And if you do and you get pulled over, you better wear that shit or tell on somebody like I did. So we're going to try us. We're gonna try us some Rise Up coffee and continue on our little adventure. All right, we're almost to our destination, folks, and we just stopped at a gas station where you can buy Remington and Federal Firearms. Crazy as hell, we are in the middle of nowhere. But we're almost to our destination, so that's, that's really nice. Just had to stop and use the restroom, and you gotta buy something to use the restroom, which is fine. Bought a little souvenir. And now we're gonna continue on our merry way. I can't believe we took my truck. Uh, the Tesla would not have made it. It was far beyond the range of what that would have done. However, we've seen plenty of Teslas along the ride. But shout out to my truck and that fresh oil change that I gave it. 
<clears throat> am fixing that faulty add-on piece that was messing up. All right, four and, four and a half hours. We're almost there though, almost. Oh, we going out on the boat though. I did that, I backed that up. So hey, it's Saturday morning, good morning, and we're sitting at the boat ramp. And uh, first try, Joe got that sucker backed up real nice. Yeah, and yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. Got some people waiting on us, we're not taking too much time, we're getting our stuff together. They're getting their boat ready. And we're gonna get loaded up. Hopefully I'm not gonna get too sunburned. I got, on a, I got a real phobia of sunburns and it's gonna be a nice relaxing day out on the water deadliest catch here we come okay so that was a little nerve-wracking i haven't backed a boat down a ramp in a in a while especially when you got people waiting on you and people all around you but yo i did that on the first try i did that on the first try very proud of myself for that so you guys probably saw connor it's him and his girl me and my wife and we're up here in Maryland. We took a two-day little vacation. Had a good little dinner last night. Nothing too crazy. Just a little R&R. &R. And now we're getting ready to go out on a little Boston Whaler. Like a little, little skiff boat. There's a nice little restaurant supposedly somewhere right off the water. We're able to pull, pull the boat right up on a beach. And uh, have a good little time. Definitely looking forward to this. I haven't been on a boat all season. And I wonder if Connor's gonna let me drive the boat. That would be, that would be real nice. Hey baby. Hey babe. We're on a boat. Finally, we got one. Connor's the captain now. <laughs> We got that old 1980, 90 horsepower Evan Road, the two-stroke. You know, a lot of country songs were written about that motor right there. I, I think there actually is a country song talking about the old Evan Road. Hey, yo, look at this. Look at this mansion right here. They got their own lighthouse. Boy, that's flex all day right there. Hey, fun check. Fun check. We got one fun check. Everybody having fun? Uh, Joe's boat's getting ready to drive by us right now, folks. Nice of y'all to drive Joe's boat for him. They, they, they didn't even want to wave at us, right? You got to wave. That's boater etiquette. Hey, how you doing? They got my boat on the back. I tried to wave at them. They was like, they're like, y'all in, y'all in our dinghy. We got a dinghy bigger than what y'all in. I think it's the brown man. But look. It's not about the size of the boat that matters. It's about how you use it. <laughs> My wife told me that actually. I'm kidding, no. Uh, we're about to cast away, y'all. He says I need to make sure I get the boat started. Well, I might have to like call start it again if it's off. We can push start it, Connor. <laughs> All right, so we just did lunch at a very nice restaurant. Very good food. Had a burger, chicken wings, crab dip, crab fries, potato skins, french fries. There was also a salad, but I didn't touch that. And uh, it was good food, though. Really good food. I didn't know bullshit. That was exactly how much food that there was for real. But now we're about to cast away again. Uh, definitely... Sharky? Boy, that old 19, that old 1974 Evan Rood. So, folks, we're on 17 foot death trap right here, and I, I just got to let you know, uh, flat bottom doesn't draw much water at all. But when you're going around big boats, it's dangerous. That wake. You're a big boat. 
I don't even know what to say to that, babe. <laughs> Captain, we about to be on the way? Do I need to get the boat hook out again? Please, please get the boat hook. Let me film. Let me get the boat hook. I embarrassed Connor with the boat hook. He said we don't need a boat hook to Wait, pull up to the. Wait, what's this for? So you can sit down and hop on the boat. I can oh. just jump in there. Yeah, you can jump in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get your hand. You okay, babe? Yeah, that was helpful. Ha, ah, ah, <laughs> <laughs> he took the pillow away for you. <laughs> I ain't as young as I used to be. Oh my God. <laughs> He took the pillow away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, huh? Got a splinter in my ass, huh? <laughs> Captain, should I uh, loosen the line? <laughs> Shove off, as they say. <laughs> Ready when you are, Captain. Yes, Captain. <laughs> I can't with these two. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on the bow. <laughs> <laughs> you can turn it, babe. Run away. Everybody's looking at us like we're crazy. But that's what makes Tell it bye. That's what makes it fun bye, though. Everyone. That's what makes it fun. To embarrass yourself a little bit. You're not causing any any ruckus at all. And uh having a great time. Our little two-day two, two uh, easy cat is a no wake zone. <laughs> <laughs> I got to imagine there's got to be times when Connor just wants to be like, man, will you shut the... Oh, but it's all good. <laughs> they got a damn cabana set up on the dock. Yes, they do. I like that. They were like, you know what, this is our dock today. Yep. Well, where are they waiting for? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not from you, that's for sure. Please. There's my future boat right there. Please look at this stick that he has in the back. The what? Your extendo stick. Gilligan's Island. God, I feel like a castaway right now. This is crazy. We're gonna go adventuring into these mangroves right here or whatever this is. I wish I I wish I had a drone so I could see where we are. What do you think, babe? This is cool, right? Yeah, this is very, very nice. Still stranded. Very nice. Not sure where we've pulled up to. There's other boats around us. Everybody's just hanging out. What what couple of people out here are out here. Everybody's hanging out, having a good old time. I wouldn't mind exploring this and also finding a souvenir to take home. Possibly like a drift log. Drift log furniture? Could be something we could get into. When I think about a little vacation, coming to a remote place like this is exactly what I would love to be able to do. And I'm very excited to get this opportunity to do this. To also bring you guys along for this as well. Look at that. I wanna take that home. Looks like somebody tried to saw through that. I wonder what's in this. I wonder where all this leads to. Cool. We're gonna spend some time cast away on this little island and just chillax. Daycation. Let's get it, dude. All right, so we are currently cast away on a little island. There's our, there's our life raft right there. My beautiful wife back there. The 1942 Evan Road. Undestructible motor right there. Folks, 
I just came up with another amazing business idea. Let me show you a little bit of where we're at. Complete uninhabitable. Mangroves behind us or whatever you call those things. I mean, just complete Gilligan's Island type of stuff right here, right? But take you guys for a little walk real quick. I want to show you something. I'm always getting inspired for new business ventures, new business ideas. And you let me know what you think of this. Here we go. Here's a perfect example right here. We got to go up into this, into this wilderness a little bit real quick. Hold on. They're going to be mad as shit at me for this. But I'm trying to tell you, watch this. Watch. All right, I got it. I got it. All right. Y'all see this? You see this piece of driftwood right here? We're about to sell this shit to Pottery Barn for like, shit. That goes on your mantle right there. Right? You try to buy that from the store as a, as a decoration? This one broke. This one broke. It ain't no good, but... It is an antique, you're right. I know it sounds crazy, right? You're probably like, Joe, you are crazy. Thinking that people are actually gonna buy that type of stuff. Well, let me show you. Hold on. Gotta, gotta get out to our, our life raft, folks. I've already read up. I've already met the connect. I got this nice one right here, right? What you think somebody gonna pay for that? And then this one right here, now this one, I'm not too quick to let this one go. All right, that one, that one's special to me. All right, so that one's probably gonna be about three or $400. Repurposed driftwood. Pottery barn selling it, anthropology selling it, restoration hardware selling it. Well shit, now we selling it too. Anybody, anybody looking for any mantle pieces? I'll at your boy. Just want to show you this backdrop that we just found. God, I look like I look like Tom Hanks and Castaway for real a little bit, right? When it first started on the island. For real, a little bit. Look at this backdrop, y'all. Tell me, this is not super picturesque. We just took some pictures. Me and my wife did. Connor and his girl did. And man, they came out something special. God. I really just want to wander into this. But there's a lot of mosquitoes and gnats in there. We haven't gotten bit by any, but you'll see like swarms, swarms of these bugs just hovering around. So the adventure continues. The picturesque island. We've wandered into the mangroves a little bit. Ah, yeah. A beetle just flew in my eye. It's, now it's in my hair. God bless it, get the hell. I feel like Bear Gillis out here. But look at that, y'all. It's a pond or a lake or a something. And, oh God, did I just walk into a big spider web? Whew, I feel like I did. Look at that. That is so, you can't see it, but right there. We're in the mangroves. We're talking about camping out here. That would be something. All right, we've continued, we've continued walking and we've gone through quite a bit of wilderness to get to where we, I don't think I'm coming back. I think I'm gonna stay here. We've talked about camping out here. And at this point, I'm ready to live here. Hey, Connor. Hey, I'm good. Hey, just leave me here. I think I'm just gonna, we're not going home. Yeah, I think uh, I think I found my calling, y'all. Refugee on a, on a on an island. So we reached the point where there's some kind of a concrete bankhead running down the running down the coastline right here. We heard a loud bang just a little while ago, and we thought that it was like a boat that ran aground, but we're thinking that it was a big wave that crashed up. Right, right down there, there's a big piece of that embankment. Maybe a wave hit it. Can you imagine living here? Being self-sufficient? 
on an island, no worries in the world, except for what you're gonna eat, fresh water, shelter, there's tons of bugs, poison ivy, no Wi-Fi, yeah. It would probably get old pretty quick, but it's not a bad idea. Can you imagine doing this? Being self-sufficient out here? Uh, I think that's what we're doing right now. Self-sufficient. Yeah? God, this is so, so beautiful. And this thing just goes on forever. It goes on forever. What? Oh, it's some kind of a jelly blob. What is that? I think they call oh them moonfish or something. Like the jelly blobs with no tentacles. Is that a jellyfish? I don't, we don't, we don't know. know. Ew! That could uh, just be dumb. Explain that to us. Yeah. <laughs> what I think that's coronavirus. <laughs> oh uh, but y'all want to show you something really crazy. Look at this fish skeleton in this tree. You see that right there? So explain to me how that happens, right? Fish skeleton inside of a tree. Well, folks, I'm about to break down biology for you right now. The tree collapsed right it fell over it took the fish out of the water with it the fish suffocated because of nature Just real quick, wanted to show this perfect load. One try, one shot. It's like riding a bike. Once you learn it one time, it's just always with you. Want to give a special thanks to Connor for his uh, captaining skills. Kudos to the 1932 uh, Evan Rude. Great day out on the water. We're not holding anybody up. We're not in the way at all. We just got the plug out of the back of the boat. We're getting ready to put the straps on it, get that motor lifted up. We're gonna go gas it up and go return it. Oh, and shit, don't forget all these very expensive, whew, very expensive pieces of uh, antiques. Can't leave any of those behind i've got three in total ah. yes ah, that's gonna pay my mortgage this month good deal uh, the driftwood bro you could oh, yeah. oh they do got a driftwood sign yeah. all right so we found the one store in betterton ironically enough very nice little spot with a beach a uh, small little community bunch of houses and uh, like I said, we found one store. As soon as we got to that door right there, this guy came and greeted us at the door and said, what y'all want? What, what, what you need? I said, uh, bitch, it's a store, right? He said, don't nobody come inside. So <laughs> there's that. Thought it was, uh, thought it was just because it was us, but it turns out it's probably some kind of COVID protocol shit. So they got a store here. That's crazy the fact that they don't really got stores in this little area. I didn't film anything uh, in the town because it's just a sleepy little town like so many others. It's got a uh, one stoplight store kind of a deal that won't let you inside. Hey, what you need? I ain't seen your kind around here before. <laughs> I gave them all attitude back because that struck me the wrong way. But anyways, neither here nor there, we'll get the provisions that we need and get gone. All right, good morning. Sunday morning at the uh, local McDonald's. Getting ready to get up out of Dodge, folks. The vacay is over. And what a nice little trip it was. So what we did 
was we went off the grid for like two days. We went and stayed at a really nice farm type Airbnb, basically. And this thing was dope. It sat on 15 acres of land. It didn't even have central air. You got the windows open. It was super off the grid. Like it was a farm, a lot of farm to table food that we ate while here. And really this was a super cheap little getaway. A time to just unwind and reflect and think about things. We got flip number three getting ready to start. A lot of things going on with the after prison show as well. And it was nice while it lasted. But we're already back to McDonald's. The healthy eating is not over, but damn, I could go for a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit right now. And we're on our way home. We're going to get back on the grind. we got a busy week this upcoming week. Closing on Flip House number three and a lot more rando visits on After Prison Show. Hope you guys enjoyed coming on this little vacay with us. I really wanted to get left on that deserted island. Maybe maybe next time. Have a great one, and I'll talk with you again real soon.